All right, here we have my wife, Jenny Berman. <laughs> Oh, we work out every morning together, 5 a.m. We're in the gym. She writes our workouts every day. But what happened today? Today I did improper lifting mechanics and I hurt my back. Okay, so this will be a great example. Let's see if we can get her better right now. So first thing we're going to do is look at functional movement patterns. Let's go ahead and stand up. First thing I want to see is you try to do a full squat. Which I could do this morning, before I hurt my back. It, that's, yeah, back up, you failed. Yeah, so what was limiting you? What, why couldn't you do that? Well, at one point I had pain here in my back, but also it was just a weakness in this area somewhere. Just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And you should be able to do it. And I could do it this morning. Okay. All right. Let's get to work. Let's see if we can fix this. All right. So we got her on the table here. First thing we're going to look at is pelvic alignment. It's the first thing that we check on every low back patient. See if the pelvis is in line. Very simple test. Don't let me move your knees apart. And all I'm going to do is gradually increase pressure and see if she can resist me. And we know right away that she's very shaky and I'm applying minimal pressure here, fingers, and she can't hold it at all. So I know right away we have a mechanical dysfunction, pelvic malalignment. So now we'll go ahead and fix that and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so we have relocated from the table. Now we're on the ground. And this is a muscle energy technique that she can utilize to self-correct her pelvis malalignment. So what she's going to do is push the left knee into the floor as hard as she can the same time she pushes the right heel into the floor. And that uses her own pelvic muscles to rotate the pelvis back to where it needs to be. And she just squeezes as hard as she can for a few seconds and then relaxes. And then does it another time and that's it okay then we will get up and reassess so we just stood up and just for fun I want to reassess her functional squat before we do any manual at all so go ahead and try it again let's just see what happens better okay Still bother you though? Mild discomfort. You still got mild discomfort, but now you're able to do it. That's what we care about. You're able to actually get down on the ground or bottom to the floor and get back up and do it. Okay? Now let's go and do some manual stuff, see if we can get it any better. Using a mobilization technique to help free up her hip and pelvis on this side, and then a little hamstring mobilization here flip her over and now we're working on the pelvis on this from the back side freeing it up a little bit more hip capsular mobility okay we are back up we did some magic manual stuff I took a couple screenshots of things that I was doing uh, it was just looking too weird when I took videos of doing the actual movements it was all shaky and everything so screenshots is what we're gonna have to deal with with this one now we're finished, we're gonna reassess and see what the squat looks like now. Go for it. Good, all the way back up, do it again. Go for it. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> Better? I wish I could have done that myself. <laughs> No, that, then there's no value on my services, silly goose. All right, good job, honey.